Hey guys, how do you how do you guys think you say to take a shower in Japanese? Like I'm gonna take a shower or he took a shower. Take a shower. So today's random Japanese lesson is about the use of take in Japanese, particularly about taking a shower or well taking a shower. So how to say to take a shower? Taking a shower. In Japanese is shower wo abiru. Shower wo abiru. Shower wo abiru. So this use of take, as as in take a shower or take a bath, is where the the term take, which often translated as toru in Japanese, does not mean take like physically take something. Like take take somebody's wallet. So you don't say、uh, we don't say in Japanese shower shower wo toru. We don't say that even though take is usually translated as toru in Japanese. And how what this abiru means is as you can see this kanji has sanzi. Which is, which is often or mostly used with used in kanji. That means something related to water. So water shower is water. Although shower is not a traditional Japanese way of bathing, bathing or cleaning body. So it abiru the the term abiru is a, a verb. So abiru is the How do you call it? Regular,、uh, original form, as in, for example, eat is taberu in Japanese. Abiru. Just randomly, I mentioned eat though. Abiru. So if it's past tense, abita. If you're asking somebody to take a shower, let's say, shower wo abite, abite. If it's like let's take a shower, abiyo. Or somebody would say "abi masho," but I wouldn't say that personally. Abi do. And if it's if you're ordering somebody to take a yeah take a shower, abi ro shower or abi ro. So abi ro is the core form. And what if it's water? Like you, how do you say this in English? Take water. You don't say that. I don't. I don't think so. But if, for example, an elephant is splashing water on his or her on their on their body, it's mizuo abiru, so like this. And mizuo abiru is a phrase. Splash water on 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 one's body. So as a noun, it is mizu abi. Do do you get it? Yeah, as this kanji mizu. Wo abiru. Wo is a kind of、uh, particle that means that shows what the object is. In this case, the object is mizu, so you need you put wo because the object of this verb, this action, is mizu. What you abiru is mizu, so mizu wo abiru. But sometimes you don't need to say wo. You, you can just say mizu mizu. I don't know. In this case, you need you need this. Without this. It it would sound weird, awkward. Misabil, misabita. Ah, but yeah, sometimes contextually, contextually, yeah, context, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> context. Depending on the context, you can exclude. You don't have to say wo, but better say wo misabil. And as a noun, it's mis misabil. Don't forget this B, which is called okurigana. Those hiragana in general are called okurigana. Right. So another. So here are some words that use this kanji but in a different reading. So yeah, the upper one is kai sui yoku. Kai sui yoku. This means not. 
something like splashing water or taking a bath, taking water. But this word means, uh, as a noun, swimming in the sea, ocean, kaisuyuk, kaisuyuk. Because this kanji means, which also is read umi, but in this case it's read kai onyomi. Umi is kunyomi. So kai means sea or ocean, and this means water, and this means, well, take, take water. <laughs> and uh, another kanji, yokuso, this is a kanji for bathtub. So this kanji, well, I can't really explain what this means, but what I'm saying is just what the meaning this kanji has. So yokuso is best up this so if this kanji is repla repla replaced by replaced with this sui but sui so it means things like aqua aquarium the the tub water tub that you see at aquariums. So this yokuso but because this is yoku it means bathtub. Alright. And here's some example of how it's re how it's used. Alright, this is literally if you say this beer wo abiru. Beer wo abiru. Beer. Apparently it's beer. Beer. Um, alcohol. Beer. Wo abiru. So you. How do you say this in English? Pour. Pour beer on you or somebody. So, I don't know if this is a typical saying in your country, but in Japan, especially uh, uh, baseball players, when the season is finished and some team wins, the teammates uh, pour beer to each other as a celebration. <laughs> that looks crazy. So, if you say this, it literally means pour beer to, to on somebody. Biru abiru. But as a well, metaphorically, abiru. If you say abiru you ni sake o nomu, you can replace this sake to anything, mizu or beer or waka. But what this means is drink. What this sentence itself means is. Uh, drink alcohol as if somebody, let's say somebody, is like pouring it on him on himself. So it what this means is drinking very much and very fast, like as if you are pouring the alcohol on your body, quick, fast, and a lot. And this yoni means something like as if, as if, or like, like. Drinking like he is pouring beer on him, on him, or drinking as if he's pouring beer on him. As I said, this doesn't have to be sake, but sake means alcohol in general. So this can be orange juice, this can be apple juice, this can be milk. Whatever, whatever it is that you are drinking. Here's another word, in another use of abiru. This case, it's not abiru, but oh, I forgot to put the hiragana. Oh, okay, right. Bato wo abiseru. I hope you don't be in a situation that you need to say this or you need to remember this. But bato ba to yeah to bato wo abiseru right break down bato means uh, words such as insult abuse in english it would be i think f words or bad words bad languages yeah insult in general so this means well metaphorically 
pour insults or abuse on somebody. You wouldn't want to be done that. But oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Insults. But oh. That if you are the one who are exposed to insults and abuse, but oh, abuse la le lu as in the present tense. If it's past tense, but but oh, abuse abuse la le ta. But this sentence, but oh, abuse means you are insulting some somebody. Right here's another ex example of a Japanese culture, and also how uh, this kanji yoku is used. Yes, kon yoku, kon kon yoku, kon. This kanji has a meaning of mix, mixing, mix or combining. So another way, another kanji, this kanji is used is konchu, chu, meaning insects. Because you know, there are many kinds of insects. So if you write konchu, chu, it means insects or bugs in general. But here it's yoku, uh, kon yoku. So what this means, can you, can you guess what this means? So mix, mixing or combining or blend in this case, mixing or putting something together. And yoku. You should have you should have the idea of what this kanji means. So this means taking a bath uh, male and a female together. But this is believe or not, yeah, this is a typical scene in some onsen, hot spring. In some onsen, right? Did I say that twice? Konyoku. So male and female together taking taking oh what is that? taking bath. So I hear sometimes we hear funny stories that men went to Konyoku onsen, Konyoku hot spring, expecting to to take a bath with some cute young women. But ending up taking up, ending up taking up, taking a bath with these old, ugly women. So yeah, men are always men. Men will be men. So konyoku. But of course there are, uh, there are onsen, only for men and only for female. But some onsen have only konyoku or both and konyoku yeah three kinds i've never been in konyoku onsen so i don't know what it is but man your expect your expectation would not come true usually so so basically this video was about how to say to take a shower in japanese and which is just there uh, repeating reminding you Shower wo abiru. Yep. By the way, if it's to take a bath, you wouldn't say uh, ofuro or furo wo abiru or furo wo toru. But in that case, you would uh, word which means something what enter means, like hairu or come in. In the kanji? It's this. Hai. Hairu. Hai. Hai. Hairu. Furo ni hairu. Furo ni hairu. Or o furo ni hairu. I'm not sure if this pronunciation is F or H. Furo. Furo. It doesn't really matter. Furo. O furo. O furo. Sometimes it sounds like F. O furo. O furo. Or sometimes it sounds like H or Hu or Huro or Furo. It doesn't really matter in Japanese. It all depends. Even I would say both. Furo ni hairu, furo ni haita as the past tense. Furo ni haire as in 
order form. Go to the bath. Take a bath. Furo ni hayre. Well, if you're taking a bath with somebody, ofuro ni hayro, hayro. Let's take a bath together. Well, hayri masho. As to a former or politer form, hayri masho. Yeah, I'd like somebody to say that to me. And hayri, uh, hayri. If you're suggesting somebody to take a bath. If it's abiru, oh, you, you smell so bad as hell. Why don't you take a shower? Shower, shower, shower. In that case, I would say, take a shower. Not, I, not that I would suggest, but I would ask him to take a shower. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks. Uh, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take a take a sh bath. I'm not taking a shower. I'm Japanese, and I like taking the bath. Peace, peace, double peace. Thanks for watching. Bye.